because I'm watching you. Should we do a furries react? But what is Professor Lando up to? What have we watched? We've done this one. We've done this one. We've done this one. What people don't understand about furries. We haven't watched this because I haven't seen him draw Lucario before. So this is ooh woo cute furry YouTube furry reacts content, I think. What people don't understand about furries. Oh, I don't know. Is it just ignorance or is it that they just don't understand because they're stupid? I feel like it's just ignorance because everyone who needs to know or cares about furries at all knows. It's just those that are ignorant that don't understand because they're gamers or live on TikTok. Either way, let's let's watch some content. Uh, could you come in after class and get some extra credit? Uh, yes, you can see me at my OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that is quite the intro. It's good to see that even after like three fucking videos we've seen, his intros just never fucking change. I, I love this guy. Hands down, one of the best professors I've ever had, even though I don't really enroll in his university or college or whatever it is. I'm not even in his class. I just show up and listen to what he's talking about. This is just a complicated mess. Let's watch the content. Uh, could you come in after class and get some extra credit? Uh, yes, you can see me at my OnlyFans. I mean, uh, office hours. Bathroom breaks. I'm getting a only fans office hours. Ah, uh, it's about the same. <laughs> I mean, uh, office hours. I bathroom love breaks. I'm getting a lot of comments about bathroom breaks. I need a sort of diagram. Okay, so this is the class layout right here. This is the class. Okay. The professor. Okay. And these are your seats. Typical classroom layout. So the okay. emergency exits are right here. But usually there aren't. Actually, that makes sense. That was like most of my college classrooms there was like an aisle down here here and here it's like an auditorium to an extent every classroom is like an auditorium but they are boarded up oh they're boarded up okay that's just how i do things bathroom breaks okay let's just lay this to rest okay i want your eyes forward i don't want you to miss a second of lecture if you if you look underneath where you're sitting right underneath you there's a little there is a system of troughs oh a system of piss troughs really and just, you can just, you can just let it go. Dude, this um, is like the fucking the Greeks when they did. They had aqueducts. The aqueduct system in Mesopotamia gave them an edge. Skip forward a few hundred years. But that's different. Thousand, hundred. Aqueducts whatever. are different from fucking sewage canals. Jesus. I mean, technically it's the same thing if you think about it. But like, yeah. <laughs> I get he's being intuitive. You could just require them to wear gamer pants. I don't, I don't. Might be. It's like this, you know, it's kind of like uh, that, what, what pigs eat out of. What like the trough. fuck does that have you know to do? Is? Hold on, what is this? What does that have to do with any of this? Is this just syllabus day? Is this the start of a new term? It's just syllabus day. We're just talking and shooting the shit. We've already gone over it. It's been five minutes. What is happening? I want to see this diagram again. Exits are right here. But they are boarded up. They're boarded up. Yo, the new Call of Duty zombies map looking pretty great. 5 2.0. I can't wait. Just how I do things. Bathroom breaks. Okay, let's just lay this to rest. He is a good artist. Your eyes forward. I don't want you to miss a second. I'm not going to lie. He literally draws diagrams very similarly to like an actual teacher or like professor giving lectures, trying to get shit on the board that looks good, but also is fast. Lecture. If you, if you look underneath where you're sitting, right underneath you, there's a little, there is a system of troughs, uh, a system of piss troughs, really. And just, you can just, you can just let it go. Um, Mesopotamia, the start of human civilization. Yeah, but what if you pee and then some of it gets on the student in the front? What the fuck do you do then? Do you just have to have really good aim? What if I have no good aim? What if my aim isn't great? What are you supposed to do? Either way, piss troughs, they're a new thing. You should the patent it. The system in Mesopotamia gave them an edge. Skip forward a few hundred years or thousand, hundred? Whatever it might be. It's like this, you know, it's kind of like uh, what, what pigs eat out of, you know, like a trough. You know what a trough is? Hold on, Drain. Is, this question? is there a least sexy Pokemon that you'd still make love to? <laughs> exactly what? Like, is this just asking? like, oh, this is, okay. This is totally syllabus day. This is just the, this, the day where they go over the syllabus for the class because everyone's just asking questions. There is no topic that they are going over until someone asks it. Asking like, if I had like, here is Pokemon I would not do. And then this is like, I'm 
one hundred percent for it. Like, where is the? And this is like all his mind needs to get out of the gutter. Up. And you're not telling me this. I feel like he's the last person that needs to be asked to, to get his mind out of the gutter. Have you seen me? You know what I do every fucking day? I stream on Twitch.tv with mature settings on. So what is he? What was he asked? Hold on, what is this question? Is there a least sexy Pokemon that you'd still make love to? I don't know what you're exactly asking. Like, are you asking, like, if I had, like, here is Pokemon I would not do, and then this is, like, I'm... So we're going back to this video. percent for it. Like, where is the... And this is, like, all the Pokemon and raking uh, a physical attractiveness. Like, where the line is drawn between, like, the least attractive, but I'm still willing to go. I'd have to think about that. For me, it's not a gradient. It's oh either, no yes, he's using no. gradients i don't have like a limit it's like i would smash or i won't you know what i mean strodinger's pokey waifu on our pokey waifu i don't get lecture, this i talked about he the, keeps the, he keeps bringing up the fucking grass i told you i couldn't even teach everyone microeconomics good luck to you dia is it ethical to be with a pokemon intimately and i said yes why because pokemon can think they can feel they can care they have a higher level of, of, of communication ability with their trainers. Ash and them, they, you know, Pika goes, Pika, Pika, and Ash is like, ah, yes, that is an interesting point, but, you know, that, that's dangerous territory. And if they can think critically like that, I think that they can, they can love. And if they can love, they can fuck. And I... <laughs> It's true, but you shouldn't say it. I don't know. I don't know. Look, he's he's full sending it. I don't know how to feel about this one, Chief, with uh, pokey waifus. But uh, when does this get on to furries? I've got a lot of comments. They're like, Professor Orlando. Listen, I appreciate the thought. I, I like that my students are are putting in the effort uh -huh. and the, the cogs are turning. I saw a lot of comments saying, Professor, but doesn't that apply to dogs? I got bad news for you. I don't think your dog is as smart as you think it is. I you, don't like you this have a conversation. Dog, it, it I rummages through your trash. It, you can see it. I like, don't acting guilty. Actually, what they found was dogs don't, don't they don't have the capability. Don't I don't like this conversation. To be guilty, they're just fearful of the punishment. You know I that don't movie, don't, I don't like heaven? this conversation. Where's so the part about furries? You guys know this. <laughs> <laughs> readable on the other. We're going to be introducing a new concept to this. You should know this. What do we find here? And the cross section of where submissive and breedable meet. What? How Good. do we get into this? Bussy. Bussy. Here we have Among Us. What? Submissive and breedable intersecting with Among Us. This is actually looking like the average master thesis. The average thesis for a master's program. If you have something that you're trying to get a master's for, this is the average thesis. Actually, though, because something that you research ends up being so far from the truth that you don't even know how to prove it. So you just start bullshitting it with submissive and breedable. Bussy. What, what did I miss? How do we get onto this? Your dog isn't as smart as you think. I, I want to go over something really important. You guys know this. That's sussy. Sussy! Going further. I'm sussy. Wait, that I'm submissive, readable. I'm sussy. Here we have a Japanese insult. What submissive, the fuck? Readable bussy. Submissive, readable what among us. What the sussy. fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Submissive, readable among us Japanese insult. Oh. That's a sussy box. Oh. A sussy box. I got scared about the territory he was about to go into for a second. I got really really scared but nah the, the sussy baka i yeah i'm i'm a sussy baka that makes sense okay. this will be on the test god I, god damn it i knew there were exams i'm gonna flunk out continuing from monday i told you class we would do this again i will be diagramming pokemon from memory lucario so uh so like i said lucario is is like a Diag dog. diagramming so we'll start, from we'll start there memory you okay. mean just drawing are you yeah. open for commissions i think it's got kind of an angry face sharp ears i think it has sharp ears so i know when that is he open legs, for commissions seriously this out to can me. you draw it my fursona like can you draw your sexiest like life jacket ever professor lando please i think it has like a spike i think it has like a spike coming through not really sure. So yeah, you can't hug a Lucario from the like front. A, what's the tail? Is it like? It's close. Oh, we'll hold off on the tail. Doesn't it have spikes on its hand too? Yeah. I feel like it does. Okay, so I know it has like there's something going on with the head. 
is it like ponytails or something? He's or he's nailing this. Or like like a like a like a headband. Impale me, blue doggo. It Stop it. Is Stop it. A short it. Tail? Is it a Pikachu tail? It's close. Does, it, the tail's not looking right, but I feel like it has a tail, so I'm gonna give it a short tail. Lucario, let's tie it in. You know, I teach a whole list. I pay thirty bucks for that. I'm not valuing the price of the yard. I'm just saying what I would be able to pay reasonably for something like that. When is he open for commissions? Draw me in a big and inflated life jacket, please. Sure. He looks into it. Whatever he's doing. Sick experience here at Ligma University. Ligma. Where on the furry scale would this be? Do we need a quick reminder? Oh, here's the furry this stuff. This is furry, right here. Yeah. Three. Four, five, five? Are you kidding me? Nah, it's Five four. is just like your dog. You're a chihuahua. Four. N not, it's, t it's not a five. It's, it's upright. Also, can't Lucario talk? Four. People, I see a lot of fours. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Maybe a 3.5, but like a hard four? Whoever, you know what? I'm not going to say four is wrong. Maybe, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards three. But who's saying five? I need to, we need to talk about this. So I think this is what you guys are missing. Okay. But this oh God, is we're going I, back to this. Heard. I'm not sure what he's going on about, but is this like re the review to the exam? I feel like we're not on syllabus day. This is more like the big final exam. This is the day before where we go over a, a little bit of a summation of what whatever it was that we were asking. Uh, I don't know. Back to the furry scale, I guess. Double grasping. And you know, this is where the social sciences the hard sciences meet. I, I'm getting a lot of people, you know, I, I said that I'm, I think I'm a two, but I'm willing to go to three. Yeah. I'm willing to make that if- One is I'm Ted not, Bundy I'm shit. Not like, I'm not an active remember for the exam. and I am not actively looking for a three, but I, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to, come on. There's extremes. Like five is that, that's, that's, that's illegal, I think. <laughs> like, yes, it very much places. is. But you know what's yes. also an extreme? is I'm receiving a lot of comments from students saying that, that they're like, the furthest I'll go professor is one. Listen, in my opinion, <laughs> only being one is just as weird as only being five. You're, you're not even gonna, not even two, not even two. That's some serial killer thinking. <laughs> like not even two, come on. Be honest with yourself. That's my favorite that opinion about this entire thing. You're so not furry that it's just, it's like, hi, how are you? It, it literally is like the, the normal SpongeBob level shit. I'm normal. Two to four is like the safe zone. Animal Crossing proportions. That's like a 3.5. Animal Isabel, the Animal Crossing, like a 3.5. Is this new? Is so this again, still going to be on the exam? Like, like very much just an animal stood upright with more conscious thought. These are physically the same. It's mental. That's the difference. What what does this? I mean? guess. Is that what Isabel Maybe. Like? I don't know what Isabel looks like. But, you know. They're definitely chonky. <laughs> what? Room. What does that have to do with anything? But listen, you're telling me, you know, you're ch 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 walking around your Animal Crossing village and you see Whitney over there, you see Anka over there. You know, you know, you don't give a little like, mm. Mm -mm. isn't he a furry? No, I don't think Professor Lando is. I think he's just knowledgeable in in pretty much geek culture to the point of understanding what furries are and where like the boundaries are with what furries do and enjoy and some of what they're about if only this was ready player one i can dive into the oasis right now i'd be crossing these animals for sure if you know what i'm saying what is he talking covered about why i've never played animal crossing being i don't know with pokemon is morally okay and so i'll be we'll we'll be reviewing the rest of your taste right now is this ludicolo <laughs> <laughs> What? So, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, physical attraction. Oh my god! Of, of course, Vaporeon is there, but what? That's quite the leap, you know. Why is Bidoof there? I would never fuck God. Bidoof is literally God incarnate, the Pokemon. What kind of jump is this? I'm curious about what he has to say. Am I missing something? In terms about waifu, it's not only about physical attraction. You want you want a best friend in your waifu, and Ludicolo yes. looks like he has a lot of fun. You know, right? It's Ludi Colo, <laughs> Ludi, you're, you're gonna share a laugh. You're gonna share a laugh. And actually, actually, now that I'm looking, when they talk about duck lips, Ludi Colo here got that. What, what those? What do those lips do though? If you're okay with these, like, kind of like fish eyes looking up at you. You mean duck lips? You mean I, I take two Pringles? This is just a bidoof. You didn't even include an explanation. 
What am I supposed to take away from this? That's just a bee doof. <laughs> it's even got like buck teeth. That's gotta be an F. Uh, a low <laughs> what? muck. <laughs> what is this? Is this a real card? What? Muck. It does look cool. A lowland muck. Two mucks. So two for one. Muck. So yeah, you know what? Uh, I mean, actually, you know, I was gonna say like, you watch a lot of hentai. Or, uh, or I don't know. I've done a lot of research on people who have watched a lot of hentai. How? But it, I think it, it's common. A common theme is like the jelly blob slime enveloping the entire body and you're just floating in an amorphous experience of slimy pleasure. I can imagine that with a muck. However, however, that- That was oddly descriptive. I'm very concerned now. That has to be speaking from experience, okay? That I don't- mm. Surface level thinking here at Lignum mm. University, we like to dig a little deeper. Is it, Muck is toxic. It's just- <laughs> Like most furries are, see? He gets it. <laughs> Furries are toxic. What do you know? Is Muck a furry? Die. Furry bait Pokemon? Sure. It's like when Joker fell in the thing. You're going to turn into the Joker. It's like chemicals and stuff. F. Got to be an F. Oh, okay. Mega Gardevoir? Oh, I've oh, never seen Mega all, Gardevoir is, before. Is that that's very pretty. Big? That's not the only thing getting big. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. I like this. Even Sheesh. more milfy Mega Gardevoir is. Oh, yeah. And, and in fact, do you see? This is what I think. A plus. A plus. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Mega Gardevoir a separate Pokemon from regular Gardevoir? Because that's technically the same Pokemon. It just, just sort of got pampered up for the big night. You know, it's like it's it's like person versus person getting ready for the Met Gala. You know, they're gonna look gorgeous. They're gonna look at their they're gonna look like they're at their peak. Is this separate from regular Gardevoir or is this a new just I don't know. It's just us looking sexier, but same person. I don't know. Mega Mommy. Yes, the Mega Milk of Pokemon. Mega Mommy, excuse me? Things jutting out of its chest. So Gardevoir has one. Mega Gardevoir has the two chest things. So I think this is great because you imagine hey. you're, you're going to get intimate with Mega Gardevoir. Like a missionary. You can Dude. grab. You can like. And you guys say that my Twitch streams are a bit much. <laughs> His fucking face, he's really getting into this. Oh my god. He's full sending it. Look at that. I freeze framed it so good. This is such a good reaction image. I should, actually, this might be a good pose for me to go with for one of my uh, reaction images for my character. Commission? Commission idea, maybe? Look at that. Peak beauty. The face of a man who's about to get into some deep shit. Grab onto them like a... Like a Star Wars speeder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, that's, I will, it's like the kind of like the whole handlebars thing with like deer personas or whatever. Like imagine you need to ride a motorbike or something, you use the, the, the deer's handlers as handlebars, like vroom vroom. There's got to be some art piece out there about that. Not NSFW, I mean. I mean, just like, just genuinely like one of those things where you just, the deer is a motorcycle, you know? Bleat. I don't know. But it's just, <laughs> he's, he's really getting into it. You can just go to town on that. I, Two little grips. I did A not. For Mega Gardevoir. Why? Pheromosa, tall and sassy. Okay. Okay. I can recognize what is this? the when I see it. What is that? Is that a Pokemon? What is that? A Pokemon Ultra Beast? Gen 7? It's it's elegant. Sure. Also, a little bit of an attitude, I think. I hmm. Sure. I don't know. I need some meat. I need to be able to grab on. Are I you... do like the dominant kind of feel. The kind of... You're telling me you've never had any affection for a, a Tim Burton claymation? God damn, Lando. Okay. Kind of vibe of this. Have you guys been watching this? Do you guys know? Don't. Tell I me do me. watch manga. Yes. Wait. What is this? What is this? I don't know how to feel about this manga and what he's holding up. What? What the fuck? Hello? You guys read any of this? No. Or is it even out? I'm not sure. You kind of want to get bullied. It's kind of, you want to kind of get bullied a little bit. You know, not like- I mean, I do know some furries that are into that. Abuse. All right. Come on. What are we doing? But just a little bit of an attitude. It's kind of fun. It's kind of playful. I see that here. Uh, Rosaria? Rosary. Right? Or am I thinking of a Digimon? No, if it was Digimon, it'd be like Rosariomon or something. Rosary. It's not wrong. Rosary. Very sensual, you know, kind of like, ooh, like 
It's like, ooh. Yeah. You're looking over here. Okay. It's also kind of, whoa, it's kind of thick. I like it. I like the plumpness to it. The question is, is it thorny? Because if it's thorny, then it's a no-go. Oh, okay. Wanna, I'm inclined to say yes because it is called literally rose. I array. want whatever and he's it having. literally has like, those are roses on his arms. Oh my gosh, snack pack pudding. You're right. What? A kinky though. A little bit of a prick. What the fuck did he just say? Damn it, now I want pudding. Actually, this went from an F to an A plus in my book. A plus. Vespa Queen. Does it produce honey? <laughs> Mm -mm. I just, the fact that I gotta keep pausing, I gotta process this shit. I'll be slurping that honey all day. Okay! Right, very thick, very thick, and very queenly. She's a little dominant. One, two, three, four, five, I, I see six holes that are readily <laughs> apparent on the surface. You got some friends, invite them I'm over. I'm just letting it play out. I, okay, it's over. Oh my god. He just full sends it the entire fucking time. When do we get to, like, you know, not fucking Pokemon necessarily? Where's... Where's that? When's when's that? Does it get anywhere past, you know, having sex with Pokemon? What 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 in that video explained to me what we don't understand about furries? Oh, maybe he was clarifying the furry scale thing for those that weren't paying attention. You know, the, the furry scale if, if you're like one or five, you're like fucked up. Two to four, a-okay. Yeah, it was made in the diagram with the steps, like putting different certain different Pokemon in the scale where they put like Lucario, like in a three or four. I'd put him in four, just straight up four. But I don't know what I just watched. I don't, th I, I think honestly, I needed to watch these back to back. Like these other videos back to back because this looks like the final review before the big exam, like before the term's over or a syllabus week. I don't know which one this, th this whole conversation about furries came to be, but it was mainly Pokemon. Pokemon and how fuckable they were. But yeah, um, that was an interesting conversation. I don't know how to feel about that. But either way, that's what we got out of this, and uh, we got some review for the big exam about anthropomorphism and geek culture revolving around furries and Pokemon. Mainly just Pokemon.